Today I'm going to talk about the top 10 pocket pets. I'm going to uh, discuss the pocket pets on three criteria, cuteness, care, and companionship. Number 10 on my list is a Syrian hamster. These are the bigger hamsters that you see at the pet store. Syrian hamsters want to be left alone. They don't like other hamsters and they don't really like a lot of handling. They also are extremely nocturnal. Hamsters do not want to be disturbed from their sleep until about 5 p.m. at night. Then they become more active. Number nine on my list is guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are social, so you should get two girls or boys as babies that are already together. They really are quite timid and do not naturally enjoy the company of people. You can use food to tame them as they are very food oriented. Um, you can use carrots or lettuce. Uh, guinea pigs make a cute weeing sound like Wee! that they uh, will learn to associate with you coming in or the refrigerator. But really it's the carrots and not you that is catching their interest. Number eight and number seven are two species of mice. These are the regular pet mice. I think they're cute. Some people um, are afraid of mice and do not think they're cute. They, their care is pretty easy. They eat lab, lab locks. Um, you can keep girl mice together. They're social. The boy mice need to be kept alone. Boys mice are a little like cats as they spray and they are very smelly. I think mice are cute and you can also give them cute little houses to live in. If you don't like the smell of mice, normal mice, you could get exotic mice. These are called old field mice. You can see they live in a little honeycomb, so they're smaller. And these ones can live in boy-girl colonies. Um, they're slow breeders, but they may eventually breed if you keep them together. And uh, the boys do not smell of the old, old field mice. And you can see their little two-toned mice. So these are old field mice. They actually eat a slightly different diet. They eat the same as the hamsters and the gerbils, which is old-fashioned oats and then cockatiel seed, which is what I feed my small animals. Number six and number five are chinchillas and dagoos. Mine happen to live together. You can see that they have a uh, kind of a mid-sized cage um, with no wire inside, just some levels and some branches and some toys. They need a very simple diet. They can both eat chinchilla pellets and they can eat hay and they can occasionally have a Cheerio treat. They are in the uh, guinea pig family. So like guinea pigs, they have very long pregnancies and have small litters that are born fully furred and running around. Come here, Deku, show yourself. I have two girl Dekus in here. Florence. Florence. And one male chinchilla. And as you can see, they all get along very well, like to cuddle together. Whoop. Number four, four is a jurd. So a jurd is a very similar species to a gerbil. Um, they're a little bit more exotic. Uh, their fur is very soft and fluffy. They need a daily chinchilla bath and they need a little bit more room than gerbils because they're a little bit more active and athletic than gerbils. Uh, they eat the same food and um, they sort of are a little bit of an exotic version of gerbils. Um, the only uh, thing with the bushy tail gerds is right now at least they only come in the one color. Sometimes you'll see a little white tip on their tail but other than that they're pretty much identical looking. So these are fun small animal pets that uh, are easy to take care of. They're also desert animals, so they drink and they pee very little, so they don't need to have their setup cleaned out very often. Number three on my list is dwarf hamsters. Unlike the bigger Syrian hamsters, which are on the bottom of my list, the dwarf hamsters are up near the top. 
There are many varieties of dwarf hamsters. There are winter whites, there are Campbells, which come in a lot of colors. There are Robinskis, which are little cotton balls that have big eyebrows and are adorable. And this right here is a Chinese dwarf hamster. I would say if you've never had a dwarf hamster, the Chinese dwarf is a good beginner hamster because they are the slowest of the hamsters. They love to be held. You can hold them for quite a long time. Um, you should buy two that are from the same litter. It's always good to get a dwarf hamster from a breeder to make sure that they are uh, tame and friendly and they have the same diet as a gerbil. Number two, oh, many people might be surprised to hear, is pet rats. Um, they have the other small animals beat as far as companionship. They love people. They love to come out of the cage to play. Um, this is Smooch. Smooch has uh, an ear variation called Dumbo, which means the ears are on the side, and she's long-haired. So they do have a lot of variations that make them a little cuter and maybe not so rat-like. Uh, this is Hugs, and she's smooth with a normal ear. Rats love to be out of their cage, and they love to pee with people. Feeding is pretty easy as well. They eat lab locks and they're omnivores that have taste buds similar to human taste buds, so any healthy food that you eat, you can also give to your rats. Oh, and uh, one more thing to think about too with the rats is they do have a little bit more of a complicated setup. Since they're so intelligent, they need a leveled cage. Their bottom level is where they usually go to the bathroom and run around and play, and their top level is where they eat and where they sleep bird toys and other kind of stimulation are also good for rats. My number one pocket pet is the gerbil. Gerbils come in many colors and patterns. They're desert animals that are very easy to take care of because they drink and urinate very little. Um, they can be kept in twos or threes in a small 10 gallon um, tank. They are not nocturnal so they are awake during the day. Um, they love to come out and be held. They're very bold and social with each other and with people. And in addition, um, there's an entire society called the American Gerbil Society where you can show your gerbils at gerbil shows and also compete in agility competitions. So as far as cuteness, care, companionship, they are an animal that is very easy and very fun.